Y'all, <laughs> when I saw this trend come down the runway, I was like, no, <laughs> no. Will people actually wear this? <laughs> Hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is gonna be all about autumn and winter 2021 fashion trends. When I say <laughs> I saw some interesting things come down the runway, so we're gonna be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the question for you today is, would you wear this? So before we get started, hit that like button. If you're new here, my name's Chi Chi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle on this channel. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, then sis, you are in the right place. If you're excited for fall 2021 fashion, fall and winter fashion, then make sure to hit that like button so I know to make more videos just like this. For every trend I share in this video, I want to know in the comments whether or not you would wear it. So the first theme we're going to talk about is going to be cozy. Yes, fall and winter, cozy, groundbreaking. So within this category, let's start with knits, right? So one of the top trends was over the top knits. Now, I want you guys to see for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you would wear this. Okay, we all wanna be cozy. Definitely after spending a year in quarantine in the house, we'll probably be back in the house if people don't behave because of the panoramic, okay? I could see where, you know, designers would be inspired to create pieces that really invoked that cozy factor that we all love and want when things start to cool off, when cuffing season starts, you know. So we saw a lot of emphasis and focus on knits. From knits with interesting like argyle style prints to knits with, you know, additional embellishments like baubles and interesting shapes and patterns. We saw a lot of that as well as chunky oversized knits. So I want to know in the comments below if you would wear this. Now, the thing about fashion is that when you look at the runways a lot of times, you're just like, what the hell? Like, wait, what? What were they thinking? But that is the reason why we have fashion editors and buyers who go to these shows and interpret them and make them more ready for everyday wear. And the everyday interpretation I've seen for this emphasis on heavy, chunky knits is going to be the knit cord. Now, I've been a huge fan of these knit cords. I love the cute little knit sweater sets that come like with the skirts and the tops and we're seeing you know the shorts and the tops and we're seeing pants and tops basically just chunky comfy full-on outfits made out of cardigan or sweater material so now that you've seen like the everyday version of this trend the question now is would you wear this trend? So the next sort of emphasis we saw in the cozy category would be in coats. Definitely we saw a lot of puffer style coats on the runways, like super maxi style puffer coats. I mean, again, someone really wanted, again, the fashion gods were definitely all about their comfort this fall and winter and we saw traditional puffer styles with the you know stitching and the longer lengths and then we also saw the removal of the stitching and we saw what we're ap aptly dubbing as the cloud coats so these are just like massive huge maxi style coats that are just like almost they almost look like they're inflated with air now i did see a version of this style of coat in the nordstrom anniversary sale right here so the question now for you is, would you wear the maxi puffer style cloud coat? Now, if you live somewhere like, you know, on the, if you live like in Russia or if you live, you know, in like the super cold parts of Canada or maybe Alaska, I could totally see you loving this trend because you definitely have the warmth factor with this trend, okay? It's very practical if you live in like Chicago or somewhere like that. However, <laughs> if you do not live in Chicago, I would love to know in the comments below, would you wear this trend, okay? And if you, if you do live in Chicago or Alaska, I wanna know 
would you wear this trend? My only sort of like fear for this trend is that it can add a lot of bulk and a lot of volume to your shape. And it's kind of giving me Michelin man vibes in some certain, you know, some certain styles but i did see a couple styles where the coats actually came with the belt so you kind of cinch it in and get some shape and i also actually saw like a cropped version of this style or not cropped but a like you know hip length version of this coat that to me seemed a little bit more wearable but i would still love to know in the comments would you wear this trend now continuing on with trends in the cozy category the next thing we want to talk about is this okay so i saw this you know sort of like creeping in last year but i would say that this year this is the year of the vest i've seen vests every single wear on from high end to low end vests with logos vests you know that are oversized vests that are cropped um just you know you can totally go 90s clueless vibes or you can totally go like you know androgynous um slightly you know masculine vibes with this trend you could also go go super fitted and super tailored like this and i would love to know in the comments below would you wear this trend so continuing on with trends that we kind of saw you know that are back again this season the next trend we're going to talk about is the cutout now this trend does not factor at this we're totally out of the cozy section, okay? We're now fully in the cutout section. Now we, last season, we saw some really interesting cutouts. We saw, you know, the, uh, I've forgotten what the name of that trend with the G-string. The cutout is back again for this season. And what I like is that I've seen a lot of, you know, interestingly placed cutouts in unexpected places. So one of the most popular ones I've seen is the cutout around the decolletage. I've also seen cutouts around the shoulder but I've also seen some really, 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 really interesting <laughs> cutouts going down the thigh, cutouts around the stomach, some crazy splits, and I love a well-placed cutout. But I just wonder about the practicality of it as things start to get colder. You know what I'm gonna ask next? Would you wear this trick? Okay, so you know one of my favorite ways to sort of like incorporate trends into my wardrobe and just kind of freshen up, you know, the look is with color trends. And I would say that this season, the breakout color was red, but I feel like what's really coming back this season or the, the really big color trend is saturated shades. Y'all, we're going back to like the early, the 2000s, okay? We're going back to the 2000s when it comes to color and really just bold color. I saw a lot of tonal dressing, head to toe, the same color. So all mustard, all red, all purple, all green, okay? Head to toe, one shade, right? How are you guys feeling about this? Is it a yay? Is it a nay? Is it too, is it just too much color? Would you wear this trend okay so we saw a lot of emphasis on green especially even like head to toe neon green shades of lavender was also a big one as well and then color blocking color blocking is kind of bad y'all let me know in the comments below if you did the whole color blocking thing when it was all of the rage and whether or not you'll be color blocking this fall and winter so the next big category i'm gonna term loose and i feel like this is kind of like a carryover from the spring where we saw a lot of just comfortable dressing again i feel like the panoramic has definitely impacted the way we dress how designers design and so we saw a lot of just more casual more easygoing shapes and silhouettes and the first would be with the oversized outerwear so not just even coats but blazers so oversized toppers coats 
blazers, even I could even throw in the vests in here. We saw a lot of like oversized clothing. Right now I'm actually wearing an oversized blazer. And if you want to tap into this trend, honestly, the cheapest and the best way to tap into this trend is to go thrifting and head on to the men's department, okay? Shapeless, loose, oversized blazers with cute little tops on the inside and sometimes with vests on the inside and sometimes with oversized pieces on the inside as well. So let me know how you're feeling about oversized toppers. Would you wear this? Now continuing on with the loose trend, another big trend that I saw is in loose fitting jeans. I mean, I feel like this again came in from the spring, but I think in the fall of this year, it's really going to the max, like really oversized, super baggy, borrowed from the boys. You know, I'm wearing my boyfriend or my dad's pair of jeans, three, four sizes bigger than me, sometimes with ribs, sometimes with not, slouchy, combat boots, those vibes. Okay, like this. So let me know in the comments below what you're thinking about this trend. Would you wear this? All right, so I know I'm probably scaring you, <laughs> but remember again that when you see trends on the runway, it's like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> but by the time, you know, there's a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of styling, a little bit of shaping. By the time it gets to the stores, it's a little bit more palatable, if that makes any sense. But I would love to know in the comments below, out of all these trends that I've mentioned, if there's one trend that is an absolute hell no for you. Now, let's talk a little bit about footwear, okay? I feel like this generation, the TikTokers, the Gen Zs, just like are totally copying our 90s and early 2000s fashion. And unfortunately, this trend is back again. It is trying to wear its ugly head. I talked to you guys about this trend in the, in the spring and it's back again and it is the clog, okay? The clog don't wanna go away. It's like, I must have my moment. And I'm just like, no, no. <laughs> this is my personal opinion, y'all. So the question for you is, would you wear this? Would you wear the clog? Being fair, it's not just the clog that's having a moment. It's basically 90s style shoes. So platform loafers, combat boots, anything with that sort of like chunky, thicker sole, that's really having a moment for fall and winter. And I actually just got a pair of platform loafers slash brogues. And I'm still on a fence about it. Like, let me show you what I got. Yeah, I'm still on the fence about this. And I want to know in the comments below, would you wear this? So if you're enjoying this video so far and you found some trends that you loved, and some that you would not wear, okay? Definitely hit that like button. All right, we're in the bonus round, okay? Bonus, bonus, bonus. There are quite a few trends, honestly, so I think what I'm gonna do is actually do a comprehensive blog post. So before you go, make sure to click open the description box below because I will have links to items that you may be interested in from each category and each trend. Okay, I'm gonna do a cute little roundup. I'm also gonna put a link to my blog post where I talk even more about the fall and winter trends that we're super excited for and the ones we're not so excited for as well, okay? For example, so logos everywhere, logos in your pants, on your shirts, on your jackets, just logos, logos, logos. How y'all feeling about that trend? Cause I'm really seeing it creep up a lot in a lot of places and I would love to know, would you wear this? I don't know, I just have mixed feeling about being a walking advertisement for a brand that I'm not being paid for. Like, you know, I'm spending my hard earned monies, tons of it, to go and be a walking advertisement. Maybe not, you know, maybe not. You know, I know I got my money. I don't need to, you know, I don't need everybody else to know how much I got in my bank account. And I don't wanna be a walking ad. You know, so that's how I feel about the logo trends, like in small, 
doses is cute like you know a little logo mania on some slides a little logo mania not even sometimes i don't even really love it on bags but like a headband like just very subtle i don't mind the logo mania but like all over the place I don't know how I'm feeling about that. Especially when you mix the logos. Oh my God. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's a no for me. <laughs> that is a no for me. So when I am not on YouTube, you can always find me <laughs> on Instagram where I share daily fashion, beauty, and style inspo daily-ish, okay? And if you have any burning questions about, you know, where to find something or you're about to check out and you're not sure about sizing, you can always slide in my DMs. I usually respond in real time. And of course, don't forget to let me know in the comments below which trends you would totally wear and the trends you would not be caught dead in for fall. If there's a trend that I forgot or missed for fall and winter that you think should be on this list, then let us know as well in the comment down below. If you enjoyed this video and you want more videos just like this, all you have to do is subscribe now. Oh, before you go, <laughs> I'm sure you will enjoy this video and this video.